I have a question. Why do us as people, we're all one, right? <laughs> Or is that just something that Disney tried to teach me in life? Anyways, why, when we have to pee really bad, why do we dance? Does it really help anything? <laughs> I'm just saying, does it really ever take away the need to pee? Because, you know, there's only one thing that ever really takes away the need to pee, and that's really awkward. So something exciting happened in our apartment complex. There was, I guess it was from a storm, but a tree fell in the middle of the courtyard. Do you like my very descriptive hand gestures? I don't even know if you can see them. Basically what happened was it tipped, it fell, it concaved the ground because it fell into the septic tank, which is awesome. And rather than chop up the tree or pick it up or fix anything, they've decided to put a fence around the area in which the tree is resting. And there's a big hole in the ground. And mostly all they've done is what they're doing right now. And I'm going to show you. Looking at the tree, talking about the tree, talking about other things that are not the tree. I've realized about myself that it takes almost nothing. The tiniest little most insignificant actions of anyone or anything, any stupid pointless occurrence, and I fly off the fucking handle. Examples. What the fuck? Why is the screen all fucked up? Why is Ruby? God damn it! Why the fuck is the fucking fuck shit? God damn it! But then when it comes to big, huge occurrences, like really shitty things that happen in my life, it just rolls off my shoulders like it ain't no big thing. I know, right? And I was like, bitch, shut your mouth. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Well, everybody else thought it was really funny. I'm... Hang on one second. Hello? Hey, what's up? Dude, what the fuck? You were supposed to be here like half an hour ago. We're all chilling and telling jokes and being awesome. Where are you at? You know, I was gonna come hang out, but uh, my car half perished, so. What? What happened? Yeah, it won't start. Why, why won't it start? What's the matter? What's the matter with it? Uh, well, I looked into it and turns out the starter has expired, you might say, so. And that's your only means of transportation? Yeah, it's the only, the only car I have, have access to, to do anything, to get to work, and all that jazz. Fuck, dude, that fucking sucks ass. I'm, oh, fuck, dude, I'm really sorry that happened. Yeah, life is shit, I mean, what are you gonna do? Shouldn't you be just a little more upset about this? I would be shitting bricks. Which is never fun, right? I really wish you were here. Hi! How can I help you? Yeah, um, I need to return this hat, so... Um... Okay, uh... What's, uh, what's the matter with it? You don't need it anymore. Well, I got it, like, uh... I don't know, it was probably like seven months or something ago. But um the shit it doesn't it doesn't work. Okay. No, like the hat, like it doesn't it doesn't work. I I don't want it. Do you have the receipt for it? I don't have a receipt. It was seven months ago. <laughs> well our our policy is like ninety days with your receipt. You have to have your receipt and you have ninety days three months to return it if you don't need it anymore. Um, there's a hole in here. Has this been used a lot, or...? Well, yeah, like, I washed it a couple of times, but it's like, I don't need it anymore. I don't want it. So I just want to return it. It's not that big of a deal. Just take it back and give me my money back. Um, I don't think that I'm gonna be able to return this for you, just because of policy, like, I'm not allowed to 
override it. I need a receipt. And it's been washed, you know, and it's been seven months. I don't, there's really nothing that I can do. This is fucking ridiculous, okay? I spent money here. I spent however much that costs. I don't remember, because it was a while ago. But I just don't want the hat anymore. Like, I need to talk to him in here. So I just want to know if any of you people out there in YouTube land have any kind of weird shit like that going on where like someone steps in front of you when you're walking down a hallway and it makes you want to blow up the fucking earth and then like your apartment catches on fire like fight club style and blows up and you're just like fuck that sucks. So leave me a comment letting me know if you're as much of a fucked up weirdo as I am. Hey, they're chopping the tree down finally! <laughs> Quit beeping! <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm just gonna go kick it with my friend Tyler Durden. But any tiny little thing like someone interrupting you just makes you want to literally rip their head off of their fucking body and shove it up their ass until they just die? Wow. Where the fuck did that go from? <laughs> Wanna? Ruby! Oh, be a good actor. Go. Somebody needs a nap.